Hello everyone. In this video we will discuss how to create and prepare an ER diagram for billing management system. Please don't forget to click the notification bell to receive free updates. The core feature of the billing system is to record, store and save the information of customers, the transactions conducted that includes the billing information with attachment and charges information. Billing information can easily be searched and printed which will make the transaction faster between the customer and the management. The first step in the development of the billing management system is to prepare the ER diagram that will serve as the basis later on in the creation of the actual database. We will create and explain the process of making the entity relationship diagram of billing management system. We will follow the three basic rules in creating the ER diagram. 1. Identify all the entities. 2. Identify the relationship between entities and 3. Add meaningful attributes to our entities. Step 1. Identify all entities. Entity is represented by the rectangle shape. The entity will be our database table of billing management system later on. In the billing management system we have the following entities 1.user 2.user log 3.customer 4.billing 5.billing information 6.attached file 7.charges 8.currency history. After we have specified our entities, it is time now to connect or establish a relationship among the entities. 1. The user encodes the customer information, one to many relationship. 2. The user process the billing information, one to many relationship. 3. The user logs the login history, one to one relationship. 4. The user updates the currency history, one to one relationship. 5. The user updates the charges information, one to m relationship. 6. The user can attach file in the billing information, one to many relationship. 7. The customer has multiple billing information, one to many relationship. 8. The customer can attach files to the billing information, one to many relationship. The last part of the ERD process is to add attributes to our entities. User entity has the following attributes ID primary key represented with underline, username, password, full name, contact, user type. User log entity has the following attributes ID primary key represented with underline. User ID dash foreign key. Login time. Logout time. Date recorded. Customer entity has the following attributes ID dash primary key represented with underline. Code. Full name. Contact. Address. Hours work. Manpower. Encoded by foreign key. Billing entity has the following attributes ID dash primary key represented with underline. Invoice no. Customer ID dash foreign key. Bill amount. Encoded date. Encoded by, foreign key. Reviewed date. Reviewed by. Status. Billing information entity has the following attributes, ID dash primary key represented with underline. Invoice no. Charge name. Charge cost. Attached file entity has the following attributes, ID dash primary key represented with underline. Customer ID dash foreign key. File name uploaded. Remarks. File type. Date uploaded. Encoded by, foreign key. Charges entity has the following attributes, ID dash primary key represented with underline. Amount. Name. Description. Encoded by, foreign key. Encoded date. Currency history entity has the following attributes, ID dash primary key represented with underline. Currency value. Updated by. Last update. Entity relationship diagrams illustrate the relationships between entities in a database. This can be helpful in understanding how the data is organized and how it can be accessed. Additionally, ER diagrams can help in designing and creating a database. Finally, ER diagrams can be used for data analysis and reporting. Entity, a thing or concept that is represented in a database by a row in a table. Entity relationship, the association between entities in a database. ER diagram, a type of entity relationship diagram that shows the relationships between tables and columns in a database. The ER diagram design for billing management system will be a great help and source of information in the next stage of the project which will be the actual database design. Thank you for watching. For more free capstone projects ideas and resources, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates on our channel. You may also reach us on our Facebook page and website.